Hey guys, it's Spotty. Today we've got a really exciting unboxing from speedcube.com.au and it's exciting because there are some puzzles that are from the cubicle, some ancient puzzles to be specific. I'm not sure exactly which ones, but let's get right into it. We've got a bunch of puzzles here as well as some lubes. I think I'm gonna leave the lubes to the side, but they do include compound 10 and five, as well as lube called black and the special angstrom lubes. But I think I'm gonna cover them in a different video. All right, to get into the first puzzle, this is a two by two. This would be my first magnetic one, assuming that it is magnetic. I'm not too familiar with a lot of the new um, two by twos, but I'm excited to get into it. Okay, so the Angstrom logo, I expected it to be engraved because I've heard that's what some of them come like, but this one's a sticker, also pretty cool, and it comes on the red face, which is different. But let's get into first turns. So as I said before, I'm not too familiar with 2x2 hardware and I'm not sure exactly what 2x2 this would be. But what I can tell is that this is really, really controllable, which is the first thing that I noticed. The feeling is also really, really soft when you're turning. So there's no like harsh snaps or clicks that I've experienced with other 2x2s that I've had. When you do pull the pieces apart a little bit, you can visibly see that there's a lot of lube there. And you can tell as well when turning it that it has been really well set up. The tensions are completely even and I guess what I would like, but as I said, I don't have much experience setting up two by twos myself. What I do notice too though, is that the turning feels almost a little bit scratchy, like a new out of the box cube, even though it does um, feel set up. And then of course, being an Angstrom puzzle, there are magnets. So the magnets are a little bit stronger than I expected, but they're kind of nice. It keeps the cube nice and controllable, but that's really all I can say. I don't have that much insight on this. Let's move on to the three by three. So another stand. Just from its appearance, I would guess that this would be an SM, but let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing is that this is a lot faster than my main, which is also an SM, and I'm finding it a little bit hard to control at the moment. What I do also notice is that it doesn't feel overly gummed up or like full of lube as I was expecting, but it does feel set up. And I think that was the point of the lubes, if I'm not mistaken, to give the performance of a setup cube, but without the feel of like a really gummy or, you know, clogged up cube. When I'm comparing these two cubes side by side, this being the Angstrom version and this one my main, I'm also noticing that this Angstrom version is a little bit more quiet and also a little bit softer than the cube that I use as my main. Of course, if we were to cover performance as well, I can't really fault this cube. The SM was already near perfect for me as it is. So with the Angstrom setup, it's really no different. Corner cutting is as you would expect. And I think this one comes with, yeah, the green nuts. So the same as what I normally use. But yeah, I'm really, really loving this cube so far. I do like the characteristics that it brings and the speed I am getting used to as I play with it more. I'll definitely trial this as my main for a little while and see how I go. If you are interested in picking one up, of course they're available at the cubicle, but speedcube.com.au are also stocking a limited amount for, I think, a short period of time or until stock runs out. I will have links in the description, but moving on to the next cube, I'm not sure what this puzzle actually is. It looks like we've got a Wugwe with the Angstrom logo on the red side again and a stand. Well, let's get into first turns. Okay, this is really interesting because this one is a little bit more gummy and a little bit more slow than the SM was compared to its normal version. The magnets as well are a little bit lighter than on the custom line Wugwe M and yeah, these ones are definitely less noticeable. More so than the others, this one feels kind of scratchy and almost a little bit dry. And that is kind of weird because you definitely can see lube inside and it does feel like a cube that has been really well set up. Other than the slight sluggishness, performance is really there. Fluidity is excellent, corner cutting is fine. And I don't really see any problems with this cube, but I will continue to break this in because I have heard really great things and I'll get back to you. But we better get into the last cube. It is getting a little bit dark, so sorry about the inconsistent lighting. But this cube, I'm guessing would be a five by five. Before we get into any actual turns on what looks to be 
a Wuxuang. I do want to say that the packaging is really, really great, and you can definitely see an attention to detail even in the presentation of their cubes. So hopefully that translate into the performance of the puzzle. Let's get into first turns. This is kind of weird. The inlays when you turn them by themselves are really, really fast. Like there's no effort at all to turn them. But when you're turning them with other layers, it's controllable and they feel like they're the same speed as the outers, which are a little bit more gummy. Yeah, that's definitely a weird sensation, but as far as the performance goes and like what I think, this definitely resembles the 4x4 in terms of it's a little bit more gummy, which I think you will have to break in. The magnets on the outer layers are definitely a little bit stronger than those on the inner layers. Um, I think the magnetic strength would be pretty similar to the custom line one, more so at least than the Wuhua. Oh, I also want to mention that with these Engstrom puzzles, I think there is a real emphasis on the longevity of your puzzles. So with any Engstrom puzzle that you get, um, the loops should last a good while. And I will have to get back to you on that to confirm. But that's going to do it for today. A huge thanks to speedcube.com.au and thecubicle.us for sending these cubes out. I'm really excited to get to break these in and tell you guys what I think after a little while. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry again for the lighting. And I'll catch you all in the next one.